Hey everybody, back at Bohemia National Cemetery. When I was doing the Wanda Stapa episode, as I was going through the cemetery, and if you remember at the beginning, there were, there were some shots going through in the snow. With the music, I noticed a sailor, and I wanted to circle back and check that out. And it appeared there were some other soldiers in the area, an interesting monuments even though we have the snow we should be able to see something so let's come on along let's take a look see what we find at Bohemian National almost all of the graves have the pictures kind of like Mount Carmel and I'll try to get as many as these uh, as many of these as I can but I'm not going to be able to walk to them. But I got a good zoom. And uh, there's an interesting one right here. I can't read the names from here, but perhaps we'll be able to see on the video. Let's see here. It's tough to get the camera still so I'll do the best I can as we walk along. It is a balmy 18 degrees today and there's very little wind. Luckily he is right off the road here. The snow is about, and I'm not kidding, it's about in some places four feet deep. So I'm not going to be venturing in too far. But this this I think I can do. <laughs> Joseph Jerome looks like the name. Uh, I see a Henry on the side. Alright guys, bear with me. Because we've got a wall it is up to my thighs. We'll just take our time. Holy cow. Yeah, we're going to get there. We want to see Joseph. I must be nuts. I'm nuts. But I'm obsessed. Like a lot of you guys. Okay. It's only about four feet deep here. I, it literally was at my waist. Okay, so let's look at the inscriptions first. All right, so we've got Joseph, Anna, and Anton. I believe these would be his parents. Anton and Anna. And there is a pretty good picture here, fairly clear, of Joseph. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. Handsome young man. We don't know how he died, but we do know that he was 19 years old or so and we have to thank him for his service. A beautiful statue here. It looks as though it has been painted. Yes, that's why it's white. Yeah, I just cannot uh, get back far enough to get a good shot. I will do a, a pan out. I'm going to reach around here and see who else we have. Harry, looks like. No, Henry. All right, I am going to and back out of this mess. 
All right, we made it back to the road. One, one more break. Oh, okay. All right. Let's carry on. Well, I see two more soldiers up here. And I can't read. It looks like it says Vusik or Vasik. I think that's a U. Let's try and zoom in here. There we go. Try to get a little closer. These are pretty much inaccessible walking, as we've just proved out. It looks like a World War I statue. There's probably a picture there, but no way to get in there. That snow is literally four feet deep. I see another grave here that is pretty close. Julie Jelinek. Let's see if we can zoom in on this one. She, uh, I can't see the date. It looks like she was born in 1921. I can't see to the right, but underneath Joseph uh, Jelinek, 1874 to 1936. Joseph, I can't see the dates in the snow, but Julie, uh, it looks like she either has a picture in youth or she died young. Hard to say, maybe on the video we can, uh, someone can figure that out. Kind of runs off on the right. I do see another one up there. Let's continue. Oh, here's a little boy it looks like. Right next to the soldier. I almost missed this. Let's see if we can zoom in on him. Kuna. Steady as she goes. How about that? I don't, it's S-Y-N, which I believe is son, because I see Matka, that means mother. So I can't, his, his name is under the snow, unfortunately. There's one up here called Bruder. You know, you could just do this all day. There is a, 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 a monument I'm looking for of the headless husband and wife and have not been able to find it, but it has a picture of the woman in her coffin. So I'm going to really search for that gang. Father and mother. There's the mother. We'll zoom in. Let's see what else we can find. I am at an intersection with a couple of mausoleums. 
This one is uh, beautiful with the statue. I see a picture here. Let's see what we have. 1908 to 1921, Marenka died young. Beautiful girl. One here, I think it says Anna. This one's going to be a little harder to get at. Let's see what we can do here. A little closer. can't really read the inscriptions. Yeah, let's just look a little farther. See what we find. I see a Joseph here. 1912 to 1927, so we have a young man with a picture. Boy, the snow is deep. You cannot believe it. We got one, the whole country got whacked. Everybody, all of you out there. And the people in Australia, you guys are sweating it out, huh? There we go. Yeah, we have a new technique. That's sad. 1927, a little after the Spanish flu. Hard to say how he died. Let's have just one more look at Joseph. Okay. You know, I don't see any more. So I'm going to continue to look for the headless husband and wife. From here, it appears we have another young woman. Let's zoom in and see. I cannot see what the camera sees, so I'm going to hold it here for a second and we can read the inscription and then I will zoom in on her very carefully. It's tough to hold this still from this far away. So sad. There's a mother in grief at the top, the statue on top. And it's a beautiful setting here under the tree. It's a beautiful statue. This is the grave of Marie Turek, 1896 to 1926, approximately 30 years old. Vinci underneath and Joseph, probably the parents, uh, no, 1900 and 1928, it's roughly about the, a brother, I would assume, passed, born and passed, not, uh, not far in time frame, on the bottom, 1928 to 1929, so we have three children, 
well, we have two, we have one baby and we have a 28 year old and uh, Marie on top is about 30 years old. Let's see if we can zoom in on Marie. Very difficult to hold this still. There we go. That's about the best we're going. That's about the best we're going to get from way out here. And I'd say that's pretty good. Wedding dress. Rest in peace, Turks. Another interesting grave. I can't read any of the writing and I cannot get close, but we'll see if we can get close to the pictures. Beautiful woman. Sorry guys, this is the best I can do. Let's see if we can just make out this guy. Yes. So, not sure if you can read the names, but there uh, is a shot I'll hold. Here's another interesting marker with a couple of pictures. What I find interesting is that if you look at the birth dates, Judita at 1903 and Casimir below 1909, I'm going to take it their brother and sister. And he lived for a very long time. And she died at 31. I'm going to try and get a close-up of her. Beautiful woman. Interesting. Well, if you've wondered if they bury people still with the snow like this and the ground frozen, and the answer is they do. It's an interesting marker here. Casman. We have Frank, Anna, and John, and Mary. Rest in peace, our dear son and brother. 1894 to 1916. Uh, Anna is the mother, and John appears to be the father, and at the bottom I see Mary, 1892 to 1979. So she may have been, she was born two years before Frank, so she lived to be a ripe old age, and I'm guessing that was his sister. So let's have a look at Anna and Frank. Handsome young man, taken early. There is another marker here with a picture. We'll take a quick look. I see actually a couple. Carl, 1914. I see a number 23. I don't, he looks pretty young.
Yes. Looks very young. There's another one over here beyond the snowbank. So many graves. I'm still looking for the headless husband wife. They have so far eluded me, but I don't give up easy. Another young man, Yosef. Let's have a look. like a young man here. Let's see some more pictures over here. Rokos, 1902 to 39. Really can't tell. Let's start at the bottom. So that is John. Vales. And above him is Marie. And above Marie, which is 1864 to 1936, looks like, is Frantisek Rokos. Now I'll get a zoom in on him. And then above we have Gothard. A little tricky here. There we go. Gothard Rokos, 1902 to, I think it says 1939. The sun is setting, the cemetery is closing. Some dramatic statues here, I'll tell you. Look at that. Joseph? Beautiful. Look at that snow. Look at the shadows in the snow, guys. It's just stunning. All right, let's keep looking for the headless couple. All right, folks, I've been out here for two days looking for the headless couple. And I don't mean any disrespect. You'll see what I mean. But it's two statues with their heads missing. And I have found them, finally. The cemetery staff didn't have it on records, maybe a misspelling. They say that's common. As you probably saw from the last clip, or a couple back, the sun was going down. I had to give up yesterday. I'm back here today on this beautiful sunny day. And I'm really excited, so let's go check it out.
This cemetery has lots of huge monuments. I'm coming back this summer to do more. Just like Mount Carmel, it's endless. Okay, we are lucky because we have a little... A tractor's been through here. So this is going to be uh, relatively easy, other than getting close. And we are going to get close because the other surprise is there is a huge picture on here of the woman. And I think it says Francisca Benz or Benes. I think it's Benz. And she is in her coffin. And it looks like there's a pretty good resolution on that. But as you can see, the heads have been lopped off sadly on both of these. Now I checked and about 10 years ago it was vandals who came in here and did a lot of damage. Let's, uh, okay, bear with me here. I am going to try and go through this deep snow. Whoa! Getting way down. All right. Let's get there. I have about five to seven steps to get close. Oh boy. I've got calf high dander boots on, and I gotta tell you, I spent a lot of time in the Arctic. It, this it cold, I'm lucky maybe, cold does not bother me. All right, a few more steps, and we're there. I'll start by showing the inscription and the glare of the sun. I cannot, I'm just going to have to try and aim. Sadly, you can see here the heads have been lopped off. Very sad. And here is Francisca, F-R-A-N-T-I-S-K-A. -A. Uh, hold on, steady it up. There we go. A lot of flowers, plants. Uh, it looks like a casket, it's rectangular. So I'm going to say that's not a coffin. She died in 1915. I think that was around the turn of the century they started using caskets instead of coffins. Quite a remarkable picture, I must say. So, I am going to be signing off here. After this, uh, literally in a day or two, I'm going to head to down south, so we're going to get out of this climate. I know everybody's been hit. Texas, Mississippi, all the way up to, to uh, Tennessee with a lot of snow. So I think next week it's warming up down there, so I'm heading out in a couple days. See you guys down there. I'm going to take you along. Stay safe. Catch you later, guys.